federal judge has found four women guilty of entering a national wildlife refuge without a permit as they sought to place food and water in the Arizona desert for migrants U.S. Magistrate Judge Bernard O. Velasco's ruling Friday marked the first conviction against humanitarian aid volunteers in a decade the volunteers include Natalie Hoffman, Una Holtam, Madeline Hughes and Zachila Orozco McCormick The four, who were found guilty of misdemeanors in the recent case, were volunteers for No More Deaths, which said in a statement the group had been providing life-saving aid to migrants Hoffman was found guilty of operating a vehicle inside Cabeza Prieta National Wildlife Refuge, entering the federally protected area without a permit, and leaving water jugs and cans of beans there in August 2017. The others were found guilty of entering without a permit and leaving behind personal property. Alaska wrote in his three-page order that the defendants did not get an access permit, they did not remain on the designated roads, and they left water, food, and crates in the refuge. Share this article. Share. According to Velasco, no more deaths failed to warn the women about the consequences of violating the refuge's regulations He said the women had acted in the mistaken belief that a worst-case scenario for them would have been to get a citation or barred from the refuge During their three-day trial, McCormick said she the work was almost sacred According to Arizona Central, she said the refuge was like being in a graveyard because of the number of migrant deaths that had taken place there Five other volunteers with no more deaths face unrelated charges for similar activities on Cabeza Prieta Their trials are scheduled to begin in the next two months The women's conviction is the first against humanitarian aid volunteers along the U.S.-Mexico border since 2009 That year, of another No More Deaths volunteer was found guilty of littering for dropping off water jugs at the Buenos Aires National Wildlife Refuge